The St. Helens School District has referred a high school improvement bond to the May 2020 ballot. Measure 5-282 would invest $55 million at our high school campus to improve safety and security, update aging building systems, and expand hands-on learning. For the past year, a community-led bond development committee has worked to create a high school improvement bond. This committee assessed the condition of school buildings, prioritized the areas of highest need, determined the scope of the bond, and made a recommendation to the Board of Directors. In February, the Board unanimously voted to refer the high school bond proposal to voters. Since then, the community, country, and the world has been fundamentally changed by the coronavirus pandemic. In March, Governor Kate Brown ordered schools to close for the remainder of the 2019-2020 school year and issued the Stay Home, Save Lives executive order. While our lives may have been fundamentally altered, the condition of our high school has remained the same. Safety and security is a real concern with over 80 unmonitored entrances to the school. Building systems like the boilers dating back to 1958 are past their usable life. Classrooms are out of date, small and lacking technology. Demand for hands-on learning and career and technical education exceeds available space. How would Measure 5-282 address these concerns if passed? Six things to know about the bond proposal. One, this is a high school bond. Two, the tax impact is delayed to 2022. Three, prioritizes health, safety, and security. Four, updates technology and distance learning. Five, updates aging building systems. Six, modernizes high school career and vocational training classrooms. Let's review these focus areas in a little more detail. One, this is a high school bond. If passed, all bond funds would go to update, remodel, and modernize St. Helens High. Two, the tax impact is delayed to 2022. If passed, the St. Helens School District will delay the sale of bonds until 2022. Construction timeline is not anticipated to be delayed. Three, prioritizes health, safety, and security. If passed, the bond would fund new secure entrances, fire doors, security cameras, and air quality systems. Four, updates to technology and distance learning. If passed, the bond would fund replacement of aging electronic student devices, improve campus technology systems, and build new classrooms designed for digital learning. Five, replaces aging building systems. If passed, the bond would fund replacement HVAC, roofs, electrical panels, and other basic building systems that are past their usable life. Six, modernizes high school career and vocational training classrooms. If passed, the bond would fund the expansion and modernization of existing hands-on learning spaces, as well as a new health sciences and technology career pathway training program. The total amount of the high school bond request would be $55 million and represent an increase of 94 cents per $1,000 of assessed value. This assessment would not begin until November 2022. If the bond does not pass, the safety and security, infrastructure, repair, and renovation project outlined in this video would not be completed and an assessment would not be made. If the measure passes, funds could only be used for project approved by voters. An independent, citizen-led bond oversight committee would be established to oversee the use of these bond funds. Want to see a list of proposed bond projects or learn more? Please visit St. Helens And please remember to vote by May 19th.